Dan Greiner, Probable Cause. I'm at Hampton, Georgia, my home airport, with yet another ride along video. Glad to have you with us. I'm fixing to go jump in the airplane with Dylan. We're going to go out and uh, make a ride along video real quick. The, the topic today and the discussion today is over fixation, and I'm going to show you just about uh, what that's uh, about in the air. We're going to talk a little bit about that and what you can do about it in your own flying, singles or twins or anything like that. Before we do that, I'm going to show you a quick video, and here's the objective here. I got a quick video that I'm going to show you. This is two teams of kids. Each team is dressed in either all white or all black. Each team has a basketball, and they're both going to be passing a basketball around. I want you to count how many times the white team passes the basketball to another team player. I'm going to show you the video right now. I want you to count and be able to tell me there's a specific answer to this in terms of a number. I'm going to give you the correct answer when we get it all done. So watch very carefully. I want you to watch how many times does the white team pass the basketball. You ready? Here we go. All right, so if you want to know the answer, if you watched it uh, and counted very accurately, the number of times that the white team passed the basketball was 15. However, did you see the gorilla in the middle of the scene? I want you to think about that. If you did not see it, later on, go back and rewatch the video, the exact same video. Go back and rewatch this video again. And now look for the gorilla in the middle of the scene. While you were counting the number of times the white team passed the basketball, there was a gorilla in the middle of the scene. Go back and watch that. The, the point of this video has to do with overfixation. I use DMMS to try to prevent overfixation. I want you watching the pitch of your airspeed, the pitch of your airplane, the airspeed. I use these post-it notes and a pair of scissors to create a line that goes on your airspeed indicator. Why? It's because you can't remember the number that you need to. You know, in Twins a few years ago, they had the airspeed indicators mandatory marked Red line, blue line. Red line was VMC, blue line was VYSC. Red line comes out to be very, very close to VREF. Blue line comes out to be very, very close to define minimum maneuvering speed. I recommend that you do it in your single engine airplanes as well. Cut out a little sticker, stick it on your airspeed, mark them both with a tiny little sliver, and you'll be amazed how easy it is to tell. I don't care what the number is, just don't bust DMMS while you're out there maneuvering. The Mooney crash in Texas last week, the elderly gentleman that was coming in, he was looking to the left very hard, trying to keep that runway in sight all the way around. He let the nose come up. He let his speed go significantly below DMMS. I think he was looking hard left, trying to keep the airport in sight. He stalled, he spun, and he died. He over fixated. He totally fixated. He never saw the gorillas straight out the windshield because he never looked. He was over fixated. Let's see if we can replicate the same thing with Dylan. We're going to hop in the airplane, go out there and take a look right now. See if I, I'm going to fly two traffic patterns with Dylan. One of them where he's doing it over fixated. I'm going to have him intentionally look hard left and only left and look at his speed awareness. And then uh, on the next one, I'm going to have him do everything proper. Watch the pitch of the airplane, watch his DMMS, and watch the difference in airspeed control. I'm fixing to go fly with him right now. Let's jump out to the airplane. We're going to put it uh, in flight, and I'll show you that whole scene here right now. All right, John, the downwind leg. Do you see the approach numbers for 2-4? I do. I want you to stare at, at those numbers. Now, don't look straight ahead at all. I want you to do everything by Braille. Turn your fuel pump landing light on before landing checklist via Braille. Turn it on. Stare at the numbers. Don't look straight ahead, and don't look at your airspeed indicator. I want you to land the airplane only by looking incorrectly to the left. Turn base whenever you think to, you want to, but I want you to over, over focus on the runway by keeping your head way to the left. All right, there's a bunch of flaps. Start a left-hand turn. Go ahead and turn. There you go. Stare, stare at the numbers of two four. Am I clear, right? You're clear, right? Finals clear. 
8264 no members, left base 24, touch and go 24 speedway. Final's totally clear. Stare at the numbers, but what's your speed? You take a guess, what is uh, it? I feel a little bit fast. You are a little bit fast. Final's clear, go ahead and turn final. There you go. Uh, you've been staring at 24, but your entire pitch and speed awareness has been zero. All right, now I'll go back to looking straight ahead. Now you're a DMS airplane. Now you're a V-Ref airplane. Now I want you, I want you to slow up to V-Ref. There you go. All the way in. Just like that. All right, nose up. I want you to get V-Ref now. Nose up. All right, now I want you to go around. Let's go around. We're going to have the traffic pattern again. Now I want you to stare straight ahead at pitch and airspeed. That's your entire world. Do not look left. DMS airplane, keep it climbing. Letting it off. You pop off. Flaps are up, after check up, checklist complete, all pressure's good. Pressure's all right. good. Keep it climbing, you're gonna enter the left traffic pattern, full stop for 2-4. Now this time around, I want you to only look straight ahead and it's your airspeed indicator. You can take a peek to the left as a practice right now. Take a look to the left and now back to now back to flying the airplane. All right, take another quick look left. Now back to flying the airplane. That's what I want you to do on downwind base. All right, let's make a left-hand turn. Take a look to the left. Now back to flying the airplane. Now your overall situational awareness should be large. You should be seeing the traffic pattern. You should be seeing what's going on around you, but you should see your whole world of pitch and airspeed straight ahead. Level your wings right here. You got one quick peek to the left, left your wings, pitch power trim, final, or a downwind is clear. Let's start another left hand turn onto the downwind leg, very good. There you go. Now your whole world is limiting 30 degrees bank and nothing less than DMS because you're very close to the earth right now. The Earth is a very dangerous place. We don't want to be there. When you're down here this low, you're a 30 degree limitation and you're a DMS limitation. Wings level. Now, straight ahead, eyes straight ahead. Take occasional peek at the airspeed indicator. And I want you to become a DMS airplane by the time you get to the, uh, to the approach numbers. On this one, I want you to nail DMS and V-Ref all the way in by using the airspeed indicator and using your eyes straight ahead. Okay, we're pulling checklist. Anyway, it's on fuel pump on, make sure you're rich. Flaps is required. We're beating the numbers. Speedway traffic A26, farmers uh, left downwind for runway 24, full stop speedway. All right. Now. Really concentrate on pitch, airspeed, pitch and power, airspeed. I want you to be a DMS airplane from now on. DMS to DMS plus five all the way. You can take a peek to the left if you want to, that's good, but go right back to flying that airplane. Your whole world is straight ahead. Your DMS plus a few, that's perfect. You can turn base whenever you want to. Your DMS airplane. If you fall below that DMS line, you have to do something about it immediately. You're in you're in the corner here. Winds are out of the south. You've got tailwind in the corner, so it's accelerating your ground speed. Wings level on your base leg. Take a look. Prep. Go right back to DMS. You got one more big turn to make with a tailwind. Six four November left base turning final touch uh, full stop two four speedway. There you go. Now you're on final. Now you're a V ref airplane. Eyes straight ahead. You just nailed that V ref. Runway's clear. You're clear to land, and you're a stabilized approach. Bring your speed on back. Nose up. Power power back a little bit. Come on, come on back. Get V ref.
There you go. Now adjust your pitch to maintain V-Ref. If you need power, you can add a little bit. I would add, there you go, add just a touch of power. Perfect, your V-Ref to V-Ref plus five. Add just another touch of power. Don't wipe your power out. Just keep what you got here. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Keep the nose down, keep it. Don't touch that power now. Just keep it, keep it, keep it. Now ease some power out. Perfect. There you go. All right, did you see the gorilla? Nope, you did not see the gorilla? I saw no gorillas. There was a gorilla there, you didn't see the gorilla? I guess we'll have to work on that. So we just landed the airplane. Uh, very good. Dylan never saw the gorilla on the first one where he was uh, looking very, very hard to the left. Anything that would have been out the window and straight ahead in terms of other traffic, his speed, whether or not he's overshooting, on all those things he would have never seen because he was staring and focused too hard to the left. I want you to look straight ahead reference the nose of the airplane, reference your DMMS, take an occasional look to the left for situational awareness and stay straight ahead. Once you consider supporting these videos, these ride along videos, here's my graphic for it. Zelle, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. Your one or two dollar donations helps uh, keep me going. I'm gonna keep on doing these ride along videos as long as I get enough support to warrant taking a couple days to go out here and fly these things and build them, but there's some very important information out here. DMMS is critically important. I want you to think about marking your own particular airspeed indicator with DMS. Don't bust VMS on takeoff, crosswind, downwind, in the traffic pattern. Below 1,000 feet, your limitation is 30 degree angles of bank, nothing less than DMMS. That's gonna keep you alive and off of my list. No more than 30 degree angle of bank, no less than DMMS in the traffic pattern. It's critical. We're losing way too many airplanes due to lack of speed awareness in the traffic pattern. I appreciate you watching this. For my tiny little itty-bitty fledgling YouTube channel, Dan Grider, Public Cause.